tonight. People in Portland are reacting to a bold plan aimed at helping Portland's homeless crisis. Uh, Portland City Council is hearing from the public right now regarding Mayor Ted Wheeler's plan to ban encampments and increase resources for people living on the street. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas is live at Portland City Hall with more on where the resolutions stand. Adrian. Well, Pete, Stephanie, dozens are packed inside Portland's, uh, Portland City Council chambers right now, waiting for their turn to speak, and even more are signed up uh, to testify online. Now, in addition to banning camps, Mayor Wheeler's plan, which is co-sponsored by City Commissioner Dan Ryan, would also uh, set up designated camping areas, attempt to speed up affordable housing construction, and expand job opportunities for those living on the streets. But those on both sides of the itch issue have come to a main point of contention, which is the proposed ban on camping. On the city's website, over 200 people were signed up to testify in front of Portland City Council Wednesday night. One of them is Scott Kerman, the director of Blanche House, a large local nonprofit in Old Town that provides meals and services for those living on the streets. He says a camping ban may create unnecessary conflict. Arresting or ticketing is not going to be a solution to, to, to the situation, and it's not a very compassionate response. The 500 person camps are not going to be the solution for those people. Um, putting them into the judicial system through arrest is only going to exacerbate the problem. Kerman says he supports the resources the proposal would help provide, but feels massive sanctioned campsites at locations yet to be determined could actually be harmful for some who've had bad experiences in homeless shelters. They may have actually been victimized in congregate settings and have a lot of anxiety and, and PTSD about going to locations like that. Uh, the other is, is, is folks with, with really profound mental illness. At City Hall, the first group to testify in person supported the mayor's plan, many suffering from physical disabilities. They say camps on sidewalks have made life difficult. Pretty much been forced to be walking in the streets as opposed to a sidewalk. Uh, not being able to see anything at all, it's pretty perturbing. I personally have been secluded to my block, maybe a couple blocks past. Another woman said it has been a constant struggle navigating her wheelchair around encampments. It's hard to maneuver through the tents. One day they're somewhere, the next day they're somewhere else. We have an encampment that has been there 12 years on a corner. Now, the city of Portland was also hit with a recent lawsuit alleging that it violated the Americans with Disabilities Act by allowing encampments on sidewalks. Those behind the lawsuit uh, say it po the um, the say it uh, it poses um, dangers for people in wheelchairs or those uh, with other disabilities. Now, city council said earlier today that a final vote on the proposals is expected for Thursday, November third, live in downtown Portland. Adrian Thomas, Fox 12, Oregon.